Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Christine. Today we are going to look at how to build a unit rate in costing and estimation of, of measurement works so that we can be able to at least estimate and know how much it will cost us to, co to, co to cast a a foundation trench which is 200 millimeters thick and we have been given the ratio as you can see of the concrete is to 1 to 1.5 to 3. Down here we have the table, we have the descriptions of what we need and we have the cost and we have also been told down here to make reasonable assumptions for the information not given. So any information that you feel you need when you are preparing a unit rate and it is not given here, you can make an, an assumption. So we are going to start by finding the owning cost of that plant, that is the mixer. We are going to start by the depreciation, that is purchase price minus the sell value over the economic life. We've been given the purchase price, purchase price of the 20 liters capacity to be 530. We have the economic lifespan, which is five years. We have the resale value, which is 80,000. So from there, we can find the depreciation that is 530,000 minus 80,000 over five. That is the economic life, but that is in years. That is 90,000. So we can find that in hours because we are told we have two working hours in a year is 2000 so we divide by that by 2000 for us to be able to find the amount in hours that is 45 shillings and zero cents let's find interest on capital we have 17 percent of the purchase price we've been told it is 17 percent per annum so it's 17 percent 17 of 100 times 530,000, that gives us 90,100. That, that is in hours, that is in years. So let's find the interest on capital in hours divided by 2,000, that gives us 45 shillings and 5 cents. General maintenance and repairs, we have we have general maintenance and repairs here on the table. We are told is 40% of the depreciation. Our depreciation is 45 shillings per hour. So it's 40 of 100 times 45. That gives us 18 shillings per, per hour. So totally hourly owning cost will be 108 shillings and 5 cents. Let's look at the operating cost per hour. We have the operator charges per hour. So the operating now is what moves the, the the operating of the machine. We have the skilled labor, that is the operator who is operating the machine. And then we have the transport to and from site per year, that is 40,000. And then the machine consumption, it's consuming diesel, that is 22 liters per, per hour at 75 per, per liter. So let's find the operating cost. Operator charges, charges per hour is 115. Transport to and from site per year, that is 40,000 divided by 2,000, that gives us 20 shillings. Diesel consumption per hour, it's 2 times 75, because a litre is 75, so it's 2 times 75, that is 150. And then totally hourly operating cost will be 115 plus 20 plus 150, that is 285 shillings and 0 cents. So our totally hourly owning plus the totally operating cost will be 108.50 plus 285. That gives us 393 and 5, 5 cents. Let's look at the materials that we have. We've been given the ratio to be 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. That means it's 1 cubic of cement, 1.5 cubic meters of sand, and 3 cubic meters of, of ballast. That is what we need to make the ratio. We are going to make assumptions, bulking of sand to be 20%, shrinkage and wastage of concrete 45%. So on the table, we've been given the cost of the, the materials. We have cement per 50 kg to be 700 shillings sand per ton is 1400 density of sand is 1600 kgs per cubic meters density of ballast is 15 kgs per cubic meter and the density of cement is 1445 per 
cubic meters. And then we have the ballast pattern is 1300. So from those, we can find the cost. So the cost of cement, the ratio is one. So it's one cubic meters times the density over 50 kgs bag of cement times 700. That gives us 20,230 shillings. The cost of sand will be 1.5 cubic meters times 1,600 over 1,000 times 1,400, which gives us 3,360 shillings. And then we allow for 20% bulking. That becomes 120 over 100 times 3,360. That gives us 4,032 shillings. The cost for ballast, ballast has a ratio of 3, so it's 3 cubic meters times the density of 1,000 times the cost, which is 1,300. That gives us 5,850. So the total cost of materials will be 20,230 plus 4,032 shillings plus 5,850. That gives us 30,112 shillings. So let's allow for 45% shrinkage and wastage on this total cost of material, that is 30,112. That gives us 43,662 shillings and 40, 40 cents. The total ratio, the ratio that we've been given will be one plus 1.5 plus three, that is 5.5 .5 cubic meters. So this 43,662.40 cent is the cost of 5.5 .5 cubic meters. So let's find the cost of one cubic meter. It will be 43,662.40 divided by 5.5. .5. That gives us 7,983.62 cents. So let's find the cost of mixing using the mixer. We have the capacity of the mixer to be 200 liters, that is 0 0.2 cubic meters. Efficiency is 90%, so the actual drum capacity is 90 over 100 times 0 0.2, that is 0 0.18 cubic meters. And then let's, we have the number of batches in produced in one hour. We've been told up here that the cycle time, we have the cycle time, we have the cycle time to be three minutes, meaning that concrete mixer is producing, it takes three minutes to produce a batch. So one batch is equivalent to three minutes. What about 60 minutes? That is 60 times one over three. We have 20 batches produced in one hour. So the amount of concrete that will be produced in one hour is the capacity times the number of batches. That is 3.6 cubic meters. Mixing of 3.6 cubic meters of concrete will cost us 393.05. That is the total owning, total hourly owning plus the operating cost. So how much will it cost us to mix one cubic meter of concrete? It will be 393.05 over the, the amount of concrete. That is 3.6. That gives us 109.18. So the total cost of material plus mixing will be 7,938.62 plus 109.18. That gives us 8,047.80 cents. Let's look at labor. We are going to make assumption. Transporting concrete per cubic meter, one hour. So that is one hour of unskilled labor. That is one times 65. That gives us 65 shillings. Placing concrete, when we are placing concrete, we need this unskilled and the skilled. So we are going to use one, the gang of one is to two. That is one skilled to two unskilled for two hours. The one skilled is 115 per hour. The two skilled, the unskilled is 65. That is 65 times two. And then it times the two hours. That gives us 490. And then we have curing of concrete per cubic meter. Let's assume three hours. So it's three times 65. That gives us 195. So the total labor will be 65 plus 490 plus 195. That is 750 shillings. We have a poker that we need to hire. We were told to hire a poker. We were told to hire a poker. Higher rate for, for the vibratory per day, inclusive of all costs, is 250, sorry, 2,500 shillings. And we are working for 
for eight hours. So the cost of the poker per hour will be eight two thousand five hundred divided by the number of hours. So that we find the hourly cost of hiring the vibrator that is 212 shillings and 50 cents therefore the total cost of materials plus labor plus the plant hire will be 8047.80 plus 750 plus 312.50 that gives us 9110 and 30 cents let's add that 20 percent profit and overheads of the 9110 and 30 cents that gives us 1822 and 6 cents so the total will be 10932 and 36 cents therefore unit rate for the reinforced concrete of a ratio of 1 is to 1.5 to 3 in 200 millimeters thick foundation trench per cubic meter will be 10939 Point three six Kenyan shillings. So, guys, that is all for now. Thank you for your time. Kindly remember to subscribe and leave your comment. Looking forward to doing more, more examples on builder rate. Thank you.